Dear Lord, grant us guidance and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. Feel better now? I'm Alex Asun Kobe, and I'm going to show you some of the ridiculous torture attacks you can pull off in Sega's wicked witching hack and slash epic Bayonetta. Bayonetta is already being talked about as one of the action games of 2010, and it's easy to see why. To give you a brief taste of the heights of silliness this game reaches even in the early stages, we thought the best thing to do was to show you some of the torture attacks she uses to finish off those pesky angels. First up, almost the simplest of the lot, Tombstone Kill. This isn't some WWE move, but actually dropping a tombstone from the sky onto the head of almost any fallen foe. The key to getting this one right is quickly turning your back on a targeted enemy before unleashing your magical powers on it. Secondly, we have the first aerial torture attack. Charge up Bayonetta's magic, leap into the air, and neatly pull off your enemy's head thanks to a deliciously cruel chain and pulley summoned from the ether. Now this is where things start to get really silly. This massive spiked wheel of death only comes into play when fighting a few of the dog-like powers, but there is little in the game more primarily satisfying than smashing this outrageous device into a downed doggy then delivering a hefty kick to send him spinning off into the middle distance. <laughs> Talking of silly, this device is so outrageous we can't even think of a name for it. When fighting Grace and Glory, or their upgraded cousins Gracious and Glorious later in the game, Bayonetta summons a crushing device that's a massive pair of hands. A few twirls of the left stick and these quick, mean, elemental foes are swiftly crushed into a million tiny pieces. We have, however, saved the best for last. Some of the medium-sized area enemies can be a right pain in the arse to dispatch with normal means, thanks to their speed and tendency to swoop out of reach at any given opportunity. Thankfully, by the time they first show up, you should have Kulshedra, Bayonetta's demon-infused whip. If you don't, then remember you can find full details of almost all the game's hidden areas, items and unlockables over on Game FAQs. Target a flying beastie with the whip equipped, and hold down your punch button, and they'll be neatly pulled towards you ready for the most obscene torture attack yet, the chainsaw. Trigger a torture attack against one of these, and Bayonetta whips a chainsaw out of the air and slices the poor angelic foe in two. Just to sweeten the deal, you get to keep it afterwards. As the game goes on, you'll find more and more ridiculous attacks to go with the more powerful enemies, but we thought it best to leave you in some suspense. Bayonetta is out now for Xbox 360 and PS3, so check out the full GameSpot reviews to see what else lies in store in Hideki Kemiya's crazy world. Bayonetta.